Truckers, and welcome back to Arizona. We're in a new town, a new area, and uh, we're just gonna explore. This is actually Tempe, Arizona. I think it's Tempe, not Tempe. Uh, this is the Mountain America Stadium at the, AS, for the ASU Sun Devils. ASU, we're actually gonna start here on College Avenue, uh, and we're gonna walk down College Avenue and see what there is to see down here with the full acknowledgement that I have no idea about this town. <laughs> I looked at a quick Wikipedia article, but the real reason I came here was to buy a bike. Uh, at 6'6", six, six, which is my height, I have to, um, I have to, <laughs> it can be tricky to find the right size bike for what I want. We're gonna take a, we're planning to take a big bike tour this spring, and I needed to get a bike, the right kind of bike that fit. Anyway. Uh, there's this bike shop here called the Bicycle Seller, C-E-L-L-A-R, and uh, they were amazingly helpful. They had a bike that I that fit me, that I wanted, and so we were down here and I stopped by and uh, bought one. So anyway, it is 63 degrees Fahrenheit, 17 degrees Celsius, about noon, and late January, and Tempe is beautiful what a gorgeous day here I, as i mentioned um i don't really know anything about tempe so we're just going to walk around and see what we can see and hopefully you guys will leave me comments about everything that i should have done and that i could do next time because i gotta tell you we will probably almost certainly be back to arizona to explore uh, let me flip you around here so i can introduce myself there we go my name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide, as we walk around just a bit less than aimlessly here in Tempe. I think it's Tempe and not Tempe, uh, across the street here, and uh, explore. So I'm going to flip you around again. All right. All right, there we go. Uh, and we're walking down College here, just crossed 6th. And I'm going to make my way over to Mill Street eventually because I think that's kind of a main area, but we'll have to find out. Uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters, as always. Uh, your contributions are very helpful. There's a link in the YouTube description below. Also, thank you to the folks who have made one-time contributions via PayPal and Coffee, ko .fi. You can see this is a... College Avenue Commons here at ASU. And I'm just gonna flip here. It looks like there's a mosque over there and a, uh, some other apartment. I think is a university housing maybe or apartments. There's a hotel over there as well. And this is university house. I think that must be apartments. And it is a vibrant, busy, university type city i'm loving it it's actually really awesome here um the population of tempe and please let me know if it's tempe or tempe i think it's tempe it's named after the vale of tempe uh in greece near mount olympus and i don't know what that is so <laughs> that was in the article for wikipedia um and what else oh 180,000 people which it seems much, much bigger. We were in Tucson earlier uh, in the month and a couple weeks ago, and uh, they uh, have over, I think, two million. And it seemed, had a much smaller feel to it as we cross another street. I'm not sure which one this is. Uh, nice kind of uh, mural here. That's what I was looking for. Lots of people on bikes and scooters. We, you probably saw that at the very beginning, a trans, transit hub there with buses, but also a tram that came through earlier. Um, there's a lake, Tempe, Tempe Town Lake, I think, which is across the other side of that butte we saw earlier, other side of the stadium. Yeah, that's what it is. neat church here. All right, 
I'm not sure what this building is, but it, it's kind of cool. There's a lot of really interesting new buildings. And I'm, I like to go through and walk around college campuses. I'm, uh, but I was hoping to get over into sort of the maybe historic-ish Tempe. Oh, there's no warning there. college campus a lot of times when I walk around these places I think we're just gonna go through here it won't be a full tour but enough to make the playlist a lot of times I was saying I'm walking around in the off season so classes aren't in session Lots of skateboards here. If I had known that I was going to be walking through here with a, a little bit of, at least read an article on it. commented on other walks um, through college campuses about the wonderful, peaceful ambiance of the campuses. <clears throat> it's kind of an island of, uh, that's not the right term, a secluded area of uh, learning and interrogation. Certainly the case here. We're gonna go over here. I don't know what's over here, but it looks forested and uh, quiet. And historic. Looks like maybe a old administration building. But look at these trees here in the middle of the desert that they've created. Uh, or they have landscaped. And it's been around for a while. Again, I don't know the size of this university or its history. It is a research university. This is Old Main on the left. It looks like the Life Science Center off to the right here, the sort of Kennedy Building, Kennedy Center looking building. Thinking back to the days, I, 
I was fortunate enough to go to university and uh, at a very small one, but still the, the freedom to study and pursue curiosity and that sort of thing, pretty cool. Virginia G. Piper Writer's House over here. In the old building. This is the engineering center over on the right. I think we're going to make a right turn here. And as I mentioned, this won't be a comprehensive walk through campus. I suspect it's pretty large, but this is a pretty cool view. really is beautiful here. I suspect in the summer it's pretty warm, but these trees will mitigate a lot of that. What a pleasant avenue or boulevard, boulevard this is. More of an alleyway, I think, off of the main drag. We'll make a left up here. surprised we haven't seen more of the e-bikes where I haven't seen more of the e-bikes here certainly seen a lot of skateboards and a few normal bikes I would have guessed that the college campuses would have been a, a hot zone for these and I believe these trees might be Palo Verde Verdes I'm not sure about that they got the green trunk like a bookstore maybe. <clears throat> kind of an interesting building here. do I think is go right again oh let's look over here real quick Interdis interdisciplinary science and technology building that's what we've just been walking past here I'm going to swing around and 
get another view of it here because it's pretty cool. And then we will go over to this area. It looks like it has some playing fields. We're on Orange, crossing Orange Street, if that helps. Parking lot 27. There. I like to call that out to let people navigate along if they choose. There's a separate arboretum, desert arboretum, I think, over by the stadium that we started, where we started. I'm not exactly sure the details on that. And I thought about going over there, but we've had lots of nature trails already. And I wanted to give a little bit of city in the city walks. like some, uh, maybe some, what do you call that? Intramural fields, maybe. Interesting building over there. And, well, we'll go this way. We'll continue on. At this point, I'm not really sure how to get back to where I started, but we'll figure it out. Happy dog out there, racing around. I wonder if the skateboards are a cultural thing, uh, if it's part of the general younger culture these days, or just to this campus, or if there's another reason. I love the solar panel covered. I guess I'm going to go this way. The solar... No, I'm not. I'm going to go this way. The solar panel covered parking areas is what I was going to say, attempting to say. This is turning into more of a campus tour than I expected. I usually give the caveat up front that I have an emphasis on co-discoverer in my role here because I quite often just roll up to a place and start filming with maybe I've written a, read a Wikipedia article or something like that, but <clears throat> this is especially the case on this one. Or as I was saying to my son the other day, need a bumper sticker that says, not all who wander are lost, but I probably am. I thought that was clever. <clears throat> all right, I think we will go this way and then sort of amble around. Should we go that way? So many options street this is but let's cross over and then make a right it's like they've got a rush fraternity rush going on that's when they fraternities look for new members
This little bike parking area is downright European. Very cool. Some kind of group activity over here. And there's some music too, which means I may need to speak over the music as we go by. Oh, they're Cap Sigs. Huh. Hasayampa Academic Village. That's what we're passing. This is Apache Boulevard. <clears throat> and I think if you watched my previous walk from, where was it? Chiricahua National Monument. You might recall that I just <laughs> listened to a uh, podcast, stuff you should know, and learned a lot about the Apache Wars. About, you know, a lot being as much as you can learn in a podcast. It is a great podcast though, if you have a chance. To, um, it's a it's a great podcast, especially for younger people. That's a misstatement. That implies it's for kids. It's not for everybody, but my kids love it. They learn a ton, and it's just really informative and a fun uh, and funny podcast. So happy to give them a shout out. This looks like university residences over there as well. And you can see some tram lines here in the road. I'll speed up my pace since this is a little less stimulating. coming up on Normal Avenue. And here's off to the left is another one of those covered parking lots. And I believe those are all solar panels too, which is extra credit. And here's a parking garage off on the right, also covered in solar panels. Of course, we've got these bird rentable scooters as well. I've always thought that would be a fun way to do a tour for you guys, but hold on. I haven't quite worked out how to film it without wrecking, so I haven't done it yet. I mean, I could put a camera on my head, but then I would look even more conspicuous and ridiculous. I'd be about six to eight inches taller plus uh, 
curious headwear. I'm chuckling at myself thinking about that image. These palm trees, which are apparently are a form of grass, um, are tall, 30 feet maybe. Um, and we were so, I think in Tucson, they, we saw some even thinner stalks, if that's the term, trunk, and they stretched another, they were probably 40 or 50 feet tall. It was pretty impressive that they could even stand like that. So we crossed Normal Avenue and we're coming up on College Avenue again where we started down this route and we will continue on um, maybe another block I think or two blocks to Mill Road. There's the ASU Police Department and the Graduate Hotel. Looks like we're gonna have to wait for some traffic. <clears throat> One thing I didn't mention is the proximity of Phoenix. And Phoenix, I believe, is the fifth largest city in the country by population, which I was not aware of until last year. Uh, I think partly because of the what is it? The geographic boundaries are so large that it encompasses a lot of people. Um, but we are just east, I guess, not very far from Phoenix. It's part of the, I would say, met Phoenix metropolitan area. Uh, and then to the further east is Mesa. I think that's right. And Scottsdale's to the north. Cities you may have heard of. It's like we're coming up on Forest Avenue. I don't know if these are team buses or commuter buses. Looks like we're on the side. I think we got a glimpse of this round building that we're gonna see here in a second across the sporting fields. And I'm curious about it because it's kind of a uh, interesting, eclectic view. I, I suspect it's a theater. I'm tempted to go back in there, but I think we will. I think I will cross over and go back this way, just partly because I like seeing those buildings. And then we'll make a left eventually over to Mill. This must be commuter deals, a lot of people lined up. I suspect this is sort of the beginning of the semester or towards the beginning of the semester. mid-century modern look to that hotel, almost like California. I'm talking in vibes, of course, now, not actual knowledge. Pull up my Google Maps and see if I can figure out what this building is. It says ASU Gamage, G-A-M-M-A-G-E. I think it must be a theater. Yes. 
historic theater on the Arizona State University campus. We're walking down Forest Avenue and we're crossing Lemon. I know that these lawns and keeping these things green takes a huge amount of water. I'm not a fan of that excessive usage, but especially for a species of grass that isn't here, but whatever, that's a whole nother thing. I will have to, I do have to say and admit that it is wonderfully soothing to walk next to it, especially on a warm day like this. I think it's just that added plant life that's so lovely, I guess, is the word. <clears throat> Not sure what this is, the student services building. So maybe a student union kind of building or a bookstore. I don't remember what that is. Oh yeah, okay, Grady. Gamage Memorial Auditorium is the theater. Oh, look at this. This isn't even parking and it's covered in solar panels. I love it. Walk down here a ways. Ooh, they're gonna have Hamilton here. I don't know if those are speakers or Wi-Fi antenna. It's gotta be Wi-Fi antenna. In this mid-century building, is let me see the sign farmer education building so i don't know if that's education sciences or educating farmers like an ag department type place surely it's a name of a person if you know let me know please well here's the education lecture hall so i assume it is and we're going to give you another view of the Gamage Theater or Auditorium. And we got this other cool building over here. I don't even know how to describe that architecture. It's almost like the Roman Colosseum or the Globe Theater. Hoping we'll see a sign. Some music building here to the right. I've noticed recently this verbal style that I seem to have where I we're going to do it right there, where I take a breath and pause before I deliver the second half of the sen sentence. And much like a few years ago when I was calling everything super cool, I, I noticed that it, and now it's bugging me. So I'm going to try and not do that as much. Funny the verbal cues and ticks we develop right there.
Here we are on Mill Ave. Now, if you, I, I, I love getting your comments, I love getting your corrections, your additional information in the comments section. So if you know that Mill Ave Avenue has more stuff going on down that way, please let me know. I'm very curious. I basically, due to time constraints, have to go right here. And I guess energy constraints, maybe. And we're gonna head back towards was it? I think it, we were on Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Roosevelt and College is where we started, I believe. There's a tram stop. If you also, if you know, I'd love to know if you think the tram system here if you've been here, lived here, gone to school here, if that's very much used, if it is handy or useful or anything about it, I'm very curious. I'm a big fan of public transportation systems, but I've never actually had to use them other outside of Europe. So I'm not familiar with the way they've been implemented here and you know the pluses and minuses of them. I'd kind of like to know. Um, I'd kind of like. I'm, sorry, I'm hearing the little electronic horn of the tram coming up behind me. Um, there's one there too. There you go. Bus and tram. Looks fairly modern and sleek. Coming up on 10th Street here. Also tempted to go back in this neighborhood, actually. Which I think I might do. Wait. Means we gotta wait for the no, we gotta wait for the light. And also notice the bike lane here. It's not physically separated from traffic, but it is distinct, which is uh, a plus at least. Although in some cases they can be even more dangerous than just riding on the road. People will swerve into them, park in them. Um, what else? Pass, use them to pass apparently. So I'm gonna try and go back here in one of these sort of residential neighborhoods. And obviously residential neighborhoods vary widely in style and economics. But I kind of, I like and I enjoy walking through and seeing the various differences as well. It's like they're walk, working on a water main here too. Somebody using a scooter. I suspect some of this might be, ooh, this looks like a nice neighborhood. Nice in terms of walking around. So we're actually gonna make this a little bit longer cross over and walk down this street because it looks pretty nice. It's like some historical markers here. Cool. Super cool. Quiet little neighborhood, little bungalow type houses. 
This place looks awesome. The lights and the, what is that, a um, swing set kind of thing. It even smells soothing for some reason. I think it may be these bougainvilleas. I think that's what those are. Little mini roundabout up here. I'll call out the street names because I forgot to do that. Looks like this place might be getting ready to be um, renoed. Maybe that's why I paused because I forget the words. All right. We're at 11th, going down 11th, and we were on Maple. Swing here to the right. Love these. It's not adobe, but it's kind of this uh, stuccoed exterior, rounded corners, southwest style. Very quaint. Coming up on Ash Avenue. Had to do laundry at the hotel last night and got a bunch of quarters rattling around in my pockets. Talked about it before and I will, ooh. That's not good. Somebody's got a um, flooded sprinkler system maybe, or a water main. Maybe that's why they're doing the work. Uh, heat islands. So urban heat islands. I think that's what they're called. Especially in less affluent areas, the, the areas for whatever reasons, and there's a multitude, they don't have the same amount of trees and landscaping and basically shade uh, to absorb and block the heat. Oh wow, here's another one. But these people are not happy. Um, and so the, the, the cement and the pavement and just the, the mass of buildings, etc soaks up that heat and takes longer to release it back into the air at night. And so these places can be, um, you know, 10 degrees different in heat. And in the summers, in an urban environment, that's pretty brutal. So when you can have trees like this, shrubs, shade, even grass, um, it can make a huge difference, not just the psychology, which I've also talked about, um, but with the actual physical environment. Wow. That is a lot of flooding in this block. A lot of people are gonna be unhappy. Lemon tree, and flowers, beautiful.
got some fake lawns in here. And I think 10 years ago, this was like, oh yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll make these, we'll use this upgraded version of AstroTurf. Instead of having lawns, we'll have the grease, the greenery, it'll reflect a little bit of light and not take up a bunch of water, which was the key thing. And now they're finding, well, actually those things really put out a ton of microplastics. And so now they're on the outs. And I think what we probably should have been doing from the get-go is just landscaping based on the environment we're in rather than on English manners. That place over there, Casey Moore's, Moore's Oyster House. I, I guess they just fly stuff in from the coast if it's actually oysters. We're on Ash and Ninth here, Crossing Ninth. But I like the outdoor seating, the shade, the kind of weird looking fence made out of railroad ties. Fun spot, look at this place. Excuse me, getting back into the commercial area here. Up at University, is this an avenue or boulevard? Hmm. Comic store, pizza store, a Whole Foods market below, I guess condos or offices maybe? Looks like condos. But then at the top, it looks like there might be some offices. Another bike lane. This is a gas powered, um, a little gas powered bicycle there. It's like this area that might be the Tempe Town Center. Several hotels. I don't know what Olive is. I suspect it's a hotel. You can see the butte near where we started in the distance there.
we go. And this is Mill Avenue that we're going to proceed down next, crossing back over. What is this? University. Here we go. This is a chain we don't have in well back east really that I remember or in the in Montana area. I'm not sure I've ever eaten it one. This is kind of a neat place. Cactus garden. Looks like maybe they have some outdoor seating at times. At least over there. Great way to spritz up a lot that's otherwise empty. I guess we're getting on towards one, and I smell these burgers from the sports grill and the Taco Boys Cantina over here. And I'm starting to get kind of hungry. Brickyard on Mill. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. And I guess uh, maybe this is just a pedestrian area. Looks like an opportunity for some retail space. tell you, I, I'm loving Tempe, and if I were going to school, back to school, I wouldn't mind coming here. Part of what I try to be on this channel is relentlessly positive, and sometimes that I feel like maybe that uh, leads to a little a sense of lack of sincerity you know not every place can be amazing but i will say that i do i won't say that i like it if i don't and maybe that intention of being relentlessly positive leads me to be more positive who knows there's probably some psychology around that <clears throat> illegal peats Sounds oh, Google car or Waymo car, I guess. Oh, right. That's one of those self driving deals. I've heard about it. I think they're legal, they can operate legally here. Oh, cool. Check out this retro theater. see any posters for playing stuff but 
kind of a neo retro building over here. And the reason I want to come down here even further, the reason we're going to go down another block is I think there's another, well, maybe this is it. This is it. And I guess Fifth Street, not Roosevelt, is where I wanted to be. We're going to cross over because we're actually underneath the place I want to show you. I'll also say, hmm, how do I want to put this? In Tucson, Tucson had a little bit of a grittier feel to it. And here is very economically vibrant, uh, clean and maintained, but I am seeing a lot of security personnel on this block, like private security. There we go. I'm not sure what that's about because I have not gotten any kind of edgy vibe to it. So we're going to pan around here. And so this Varsity Tavern, I love this outdoor porch. You guys, if you've watched this channel, you know I like a good porch. That has a neo-retro look to it as well. That eating out above the street, covered, nice railing. Oh, looks fun up there. Uh, a great place to have a cocktail and a late lunch. Let's say it, put it that way. Where are we at here time-wise? Ooh, pushing an hour. Temple Mission Palms. Huh. I don't know if that's a hotel or a condo. I'm guessing hotel. I don't really know. Check out this cool building over here, sort of inverted pyramid style. Very interesting. Hi there. We're gonna go down here a little ways further and I'm gonna show you the other tram station and a view of the butte. I'm not gonna climb the butte to show you the lake. That's, that's a little much especially since I'm hungry and it's getting warmer. Council Chambers, maybe that's why. There's some government buildings over here or something. Another open area. Looks like maybe they're doing some work on that building. It's kind of cool. It's like some more commercial, even more commercial, like KPMG and other stuff that way. We won't be getting over there on this trip. This is the Hayden Flower Mill Memorial. I don't know, I can't quite read it. Tempe something school. Again, co-discoverer. This thing might be the court on the left. It's given the court payment drop box sign here. Awesome, so we're not gonna to have to go as far as I thought. Got a little Fifth Street Market over here, and I'm gonna go around the corner, which is not incredibly thrilling, but it is interesting to me. So I'm gonna share it. Okay, it's right over here on the left. Not a big deal, bus station, rail terminal. Back in there is the bicycle seller, C-E-L-L-A-R, which I mentioned. And about another block up that way is where we started our walk, so thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your time and attention, your comments, your support. Uh, we will be hiking again soon, so come on back and give us a look. Until then, keep on stepping.